creative blocks suck, right? Like we're in a groove, we're in the flow, and suddenly we got nothing. So this video is for you if you are feeling blocked right now, or if you feel like you're not a creative person to begin with. You say, I'm not creative, I can't draw, I can't write, whatever. Well, I'm gonna explain why you are creative and ways to help overcome these blocks. Sit tight. Number one, we are all creative. No matter what you have told yourself for years, you may say, well, I'm, I don't know, I'm a math guy, I'm a, I'm a science woman, I'm this, I'm that, I, uh, I don't write, I don't draw, like I'm not, I'm not creative, right? Well, it is true that some people are more left-brained than right-brained, okay? That has been studied before, don't get me wrong, but we're all creative beings. As human beings, we all have the potential to tap into our creativity. Now, most of the time, however, it's that people think of creativity um, as art or music or writing, painting, right? But that's, that's not creativity, okay? Creativity, it's basically conception, <laughs> conception, conceiving of an idea and using it, creating something out of nothing which is cool, right? So you could be creative in how you hang curtains in your house. Yes, you can be creative writing a book. Yes, you can be creative playing music. You could be creative in your workplace. How you, I don't know, whatever you do, get your stuff done. You could be creative in so many ways. You could be conceiving, it's like fertility, right? Conceiving of something that wasn't there before. Same thing. So. When we're blocked, most of the time, and this could apply to not just creativity, anything, anything, what we're doing is we're attaching or we're focusing and resisting the block. We think there's something wrong with me because I'm blocked. I was feeling good, so we had attached to that really good flow state, that good feeling that we were getting when we were, when we were being creative and creating stuff because it makes us feel good. So when we don't have that feel good feeling, what happens? We feel bad about ourselves, right? So basically, you know, and I'm going to give you three ways to help you overcome a block or kind of release it a little bit. Uh, and number one is to allow yourself to be blocked. Most of the time we're resistant to the block, right? We say, uh, yeah, again, something wrong with me. I, I, I'm usually creative and now I'm not. Past couple of weeks, I have, I've got nothing. And I do this, I'm so guilty of this because lately I've been very blocked creatively, just, and, um, and we fight it. We wanna fight it to the death because we don't like it, we hate it, we hate feeling blocked. But what if we could just allow ourselves to be blocked, allow ourselves to feel those negative feelings, whatever we're doing, instead of, trying to stuff them down or instead of forcing ourselves. See, creativity and inspiration cannot be forced. It's something that connects us to something else. Like it doesn't just come from, from here, our linear mind, it comes from our whole being, our source. It's our connection to source, right? Because we're, we're creating something out of nothing. I mean, that's a beautiful thing if you really think about it. Creating something out of nothing that wasn't there before. So. The first thing is to allow yourself to feel blocked. Allow yourself to feel what you need to feel and go take a walk, get out of your head for a while. You can be in your head, but also out of your head. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, the thing is we attach to it, we cling to it. We cling to all the negative ties that we have to a blockage. But really those negative ties are your own formation. You put them there. Nobody else put them there for you. So that's number one. Number two is something called um, stream of consciousness writing. And you may say, well, I'm not a writer. I'm not a writer. I'm not a writer. Listen to yourself for a second. I'm not a writer. Did you just put the stamp on that or what? We're all writers. We all have the ability to write. So we're all writers. Okay, maybe you're not a published author, but that's something completely different. So stream of consciousness writing is basically, and this is from a book. This is actually a really good book that was on my bookshelf. It's not mine, but um, 
The Artist's Way, Spiritual Path to Higher Creativity. Really good book by Julia Cameron. Um, it's an older book, I think it's from the early 90s. Um, and she talks about something called morning writing, which is basically stream of consciousness writing. So every single morning, writing three pages, just writing in your notebook. Stream of consciousness, whatever comes out. No judgment, nothing. You don't even have to punctuate. Just writing, writing, writing. What this is doing is this is going to release all the gunk. It's almost like detoxifying your brain. What you're going to find with this writing is you're going to find a lot of resistance, especially if you say, I'm not a writer, I'm not creative. I don't like this. I don't want to do this. Do it anyway. What this is doing, it's allowing yourself to write even when you don't want to write, even when you claim you're not a writer, even when you claim you're not feeling good. So what you're going to see is resistance. You're going to see all the negative things popping up. You're going to see yourself judging, say, this is stupid. This is stupid. I have nothing to write. I have nothing to write. Well, write that down. So it's going to be a lot of choppy things that may not even make sense. It's going to be a lot of negative stuff coming up. The inner critic you're going to see is going to come out full force, full force. And this is a really great way to start releasing that gunk because once you start releasing the gunk, all the stuff that's stuck up here, all the judgments, all the, the critiques and all the crap that you've been storing that's trapped inside your body, inside your mind, all the attachments and the clinginess, and you just write out whatever for three pages, no judgment, doesn't matter what you write, don't let anybody see it, you're the only one that sees it. Do your three pages and you're done. Next day, do your three pages and you're done. So the inner critic, which we all have, is not truth, right? What is a critic? It's like a movie critic. You could love a movie and I could hate it. We have two different opinions, two different truths to that. Same thing with the inner critic. So once you start getting some of this, pulling some of this stuff out, you realize that it's not, it's not truth, what you've been telling yourself for years. And a lot of times it's stuck up here, but we have to get it out on paper. So when you say, I don't want to do this, I can't write, blah, 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 that's your inner critic coming out. So that's a good thing. It's coming to the surface so you can release it. And the third thing, and these are not all the techniques, there's a lot more, but the third thing also from this book I'm talking about is um, uh, she calls something reading deprivation. Now, this could be applied not just reading deprivation, but also uh, like media deprivation. Any, basically, it's depriving yourself or releasing or limiting yourself to all the distractions, right? We're distracted every single day by a million different things. We love to escape. We love to escape those negative thoughts. So if we're feeling blocked or we're feeling bad about ourselves or that we're not good enough or the inner critics coming out, we kind of either we stuff them down or we distract ourselves or we go watch TV or we, um, we read a book because we say, hey, I'm, that's useful. I'm filling myself with knowledge, but it's doing. It's doing, it's doing, it's doing, it's escaping, it's, it's playing video games, it's uh, being on social media all the time, it's reading books that we, we tell ourselves is helping us because, hey, if we're blocked and we can't be creative, then we might as well be learning something. Well, creativity is not about doing, contrary to popular belief. It is our connection to source. So when we're distracting ourselves and we're escaping and doing this and this and this and this and never allowing ourselves to really sit down with our thoughts and our body, then, um, then we're not connected. So many of us are not connected. So when you say, I'm not creative, which is your inner critic coming out because maybe something happened that a teacher told you that your work sucked or something or that you can't draw or you'll never amount to anything or or whatever or you've identified as you know a math or science person and not anything to do with the arts because those people are weird right they're weird they got purple hair and stuff <sighs> we're distracting we're distracting we're escaping so you have to connect you have to connect so when we're in here too much and we're focused on, 
I don't know, external means too much. We're not connected. We're not connected to here. And it's our connection to something else that makes us create. Creativity is this free flow feeling. That's why it feels good because we're connected to ourselves, to our true, our true light, whatever's coming out from us, whatever you believe. So spend a day limiting your distractions. Don't read for a day, for two, for three. See what happens. Just being with yourself, being connected with yourself instead of always escaping. So those are just three simple ways or not so simple ways that can help a creative block. Um, you know, really the most important thing is just to not resist the block. They won't stay forever, but we think well, they'll stay forever. But really that's our attachment, that's our clinginess, that's us wanting, uh, that is us attaching to or uh, expectations of an outcome instead of just flowing with life. So it's basically we have to untrain ourselves from all the conditioning and all the training um, from years and years and years and years and years. So I hope you found this helpful. Please let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe. I put out new videos every single week and I will see you on the next video. Have a good one. Peace.